Welcome back to Exit 45. My first leg had to be from from home in Florida to work in Savannah. So uh, that's the first thing. So we need to go ahead and get from 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 Florida to Savannah with my truck and the load. And this is really going to be its first test uh, on this on this uh, this trip to make sure that the load handles good. I don't have any problem with the plastic kind of, that we wrapped everything in coming out part and all those kinds of things. So. Uh, so let's get on the road and, and we'll work our way uh, up to Savannah, all right? Okay, well, I've made it halfway to Savannah and as you can see, I'm going to get something to eat. But before I do, check out the load. It is handling great. The plastic's doing well. The truck's doing well. I, I really couldn't be happier with how it's going so far. Okay, guys, so I'm uh, getting ready to set off on this trip. And you can see I'm out at the Atlantic. I'm getting ready to head way out west and see if I can't meet, uh, find the Pacific. So here we go. Let's get on the let's get on the road and make this happen. I'm excited and uh, to get to go see the other side. So here we go. All right, so as you can see, I got a little bit of tape coming up. I uh, don't really have any plastic carrying, but uh, the tape has definitely started to come up a little bit. So I got to make a few repairs here. Uh, nothing serious. Uh, it's been doing really well. I, I brought a couple of rolls of duct tape just in case. So, you know, all good. So anyways, uh, so that desk just need a little bit of work. And then I got to come around back and get up here on uh the uh, mattress so and same thing here uh this thing's in the wind the most it's just sticking up above my truck um uh, so given that i'd say it's doing really good but uh right in this area i've got some plastic coming up uh not not plastic but tape uh so you know walk around on the truck you know just check everything out uh engine's doing really well uh, you can see down there in the concrete nothing there's nothing leaking or anything like that uh oil's doing really well i haven't had to add any the oil looks good coolant is in good shape uh you know it's all it's all doing really well so you know all my fluids look really good uh just running really strong gotta gotta love it so anyway it's time to get back on the road uh so you know you can see here in the daylight a little bit better the uh plastics doing just fine uh you know just can't complain uh so far it's doing doing really well all right just a quick stop get some fuel check the oil and look at that nice and clean full gotta love it uh anyways i'm just gonna finish gassing up checking everything out real quick and uh, i think we're gonna get right back on the road uh i think we're somewhere up in uh, arkansas right now so let's uh let's do this and get back on the road We are leaving Arkansas and we are headed into Oklahoma. Yeah, charging forward. Okay guys, we're making good time. Uh, straight ahead, you can see Oklahoma City and uh, next stop as you can see by the sign coming up here uh we are headed towards amarillo texas so catch you when we get there
Well, guys, we are just knocking off the states here as we get across the country. And here it comes. Watch for the sign. All right, now we are in Texas. Great state of Texas and the biggest skies in America. All right, let's press on. It looks like I've uh, got some issues to deal with uh, with some tape coming up, so I'll get that. Um, but I've made it to uh, Lyman, uh, Colorado, and uh, it's not too far from uh, Denver, so uh, I'll clean that up and get that cleaned up here uh, in the morning so that I can uh, see better. Uh, but otherwise, Everything's looking really good, and I'll be on the road here shortly in the morning. Looks like we got an injured soldier over here. Somebody better get the medic. All right, here it comes. Now we're getting ourselves into Wyoming. Say goodbye to Colorado, hello to Wyoming. All right, we got more miles to go and then more states to knock down, let's go. All right, we're moving right along, saying goodbye to Wyoming and hello to Utah. Let's get after it. All right, guys, we're moving right along and saying goodbye to Utah and hello to Idaho. Let's see what Idaho has in store for us.
And just like that, we're out of Idaho and we are entering Oregon, our final destination on this road trip. Okay, if you look straight ahead there, you can see that really towering mountain. Almost looks like uh, like a volcano in the way it's shaped. Uh, pretty impressive, gotta say that. Well, I'm sorry about the volume here, but uh, I'll just explain what's going on. Obviously, you can see we're pretty happy about uh, having both made it. Everything was okay. The load made it okay. Both our vehicles had no issues. Uh, our travels were good. Uh, we didn't run into any real bad weather. Um, so it was really, really a good time. If you look behind us, that's her new place that she's gonna be staying at while she uh, starts her new life uh, working on her doctorate at uh, uh, Oregon State. So <clears throat> uh, we definitely wish her the best and, uh, you know, go Beavers, I guess. <laughs> anyway, now I guess we get to unload all that. All right. So we drove all the way from the East Coast. Now on the West Coast and the Pacific. So one last thing to do, I gotta get my feet in the water here and then go back to Savannah and get my seat, my feet in the uh, Atlantic. So first things first. So this is gonna be the second half of the trip. Uh, I'm over at my daughter's right now and we're kind of wrapping things up and uh then we're gonna i'm gonna head out but before i do uh i'm going to shoot down and look at some redwoods uh with my daughter and then i'll be heading out from there so i'm gonna bring you guys along let you guys take a look at the redwoods with us and then i'm gonna hit the road all right see you there here's our first peek at the uh, pacific coastline and We've seen some pretty interesting bridges along the way. Um, the architecture out here is so different from the East Coast. Uh, there's just a lot more, you know, it's uh, they're more decorative. You look at the railing there. Um, you know, it's just not stuff that you see typically in the East Coast. Uh, very ornamental for sure. Uh, but the steel structure bridges like this, uh, you know, that have you know, with the green collar, uh, it's just a very unique uh, West Coast kind of a thing. Uh, I just love it. Uh, each each bridge that we've seen so far have been just really interesting in their architecture, design, and you know the colors of them and all those things. So it's it's been an interesting thing. We really enjoyed that along the way.
All right, well, good morning. Uh, so, got back really late last night from going to see the uh, Redwoods, but we didn't really get to see the Redwoods. Got there, uh, the directions we had for finding the trailhead were not very good. We really were cutting it close on our daylight. By the time we ended up finding it, uh, it was just too dark. But, you know, to throw salt in a wound, after it got dark, we decided to go dip into California and make a run back around to Interstate 5 to come back instead of going back on that 101 because that 101 is a terrible road. Really, really tough. I did not want to do it at night. Uh, we drove right through uh, Redwood State Forest in the dark. <laughs> I can't win. Oh, it's all right. I got to spend some more time with my daughter. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to miss her. Anyway, uh, I am getting ready to head out, uh, but I'm not headed home just yet. So I am headed to Portland north. I'm going to head north first. And uh, I have uh, been working with Bird Nest on getting me a windshield. Uh, for the Thunderbird. So that's where I'm headed. I'm hoping this works. It's supposed to be there today. It's really down to the wire. I actually stayed an extra day to try and make sure this thing worked. Because any of you know, if you're trying to get glass for these classic things, it's it's three to $400 in shipping. So I figured while I'm here, might as well get it, right? So I'm going to head up there uh, and I'll bring you back in when I get up there, all right? All right. Okay, guys. Well, I made it up here to Portland and... Uh, over here to the bird's nest so uh, I'll just show you a quick view of it on the outside and uh, then I'll go in and talk to them and whatnot but uh, I made it <laughs> all right there you go there's bird's nest all right that's it and the windshield didn't come in so I guess I'm leaving without it all right morning i'm about halfway to my first stop on this uh, trip home which is the uh going to see the junkyard where the uh, thunderbird came from so i uh, thought i'd just do a quick check under the hood i got the hood propped up so let's go take a look everything looks good i've had no problems with any of this stuff hoses are looking good down here yeah worked out pretty good guys okay Oil's good. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get back on the road. Next stop, junkyard. Well, as you can see, I've made it to the junkyard. Uh, I got Don sitting next to me, and he's uh, gonna drive me around. He for his ankle last night, so uh, this is gonna be kind of a drive-by tour and see everything. Uh, while we're out here running around, I had a few things that I'm kind of looking for, and. Uh, so one of those is for my Dodge truck. I like to put, you know, like an early 60s cab, Dodge cab on it, um, and uh, turn it into a flatbed. I think that would be a cool project and a nice work truck. Um, but I've also been wanting to get a wagon, um, somewhere in the 60s, low 60s, you know, era. So there's a nice little Chevy. Um, yeah, so I'm just looking for something like that. So. You know, uh, I'm picking up a few parts from a 65 uh, and my daughter's convertible 72 VW. So when I'm uh, done with that, then we're going to go see if we can't find those cars. But while we're driving around, we're going to see all kinds of cool looking cars and old stuff out here. So we'll, uh, we'll work our way through this and, um, you know, uh, point out some, some uh, interesting things. And uh, right now, there's a bunch of new stuff we're seeing, but uh, we'll get there. All right, so there's not something you're gonna see every day. That tree is huge and growing up through that car. I've never seen a tree that big growing up in a car.
<laughs> I like this one. The fenders are gone, but well, yeah. one fender's gone. One door's gone. That red one? This one, yeah. Oh, there's the door. Nope, that's a green door. Huh. I don't know, I like it. Yeah, it just needs a hood. Take a look at that one. I don't see anywhere of the year on this one. Well, it's got the dual headlights. So it's I mean, inside, outside, everything looks pretty good. Let's go see it. Those fenders are pretty rusted. That's what body are for. Yeah, I know. But it's a, I think it's a pretty cool looking truck. No Dodge. It's gotta be what? Late 30s? Yeah, it's an early one. Look at that little foot levers on there. Fairlane Squire. Ha. Yep. Huh. I like the way it looks. Good shape. Good. Dash is garbage. <laughs>
There's your old Willys. <laughs> Man, the truck's in really good shape. This is one of your project trucks, right? Yeah. yeah. yeah All these are. Yeah, I remember. I remember a lot of these from your website. Introduce you guys to the lawnmowers. Muffin, <laughs> come here. Hey guys. Muffin. Hey guys. <laughs> come on, Bob. Where are you going? Hey. Hey, little one. <laughs> hey guys. Muffin. <laughs> Come on. Well, they came out to say hi. Very nice of them. Come, Come on. on. Come on. You're going to get yourself in trouble with the llamas. Those things can kick faster than you can see them. Yeah, they were getting threatened by me. I knew I had to get out of there. They can spit, too. Well, here we are. Uh, after leaving uh, the junkyard up there in uh, Colorado, I'm down in New Mexico, and I decided to make a pit stop here in Roswell. So I'm still looking for my first alien. There it is. Oh yeah, right there. My first alien. All right. It didn't take long. All right. You guys are going to like where I'm staying. <laughs> I got to get the full treatment of this place. So let's, uh, let's just keep pressing on here. I got, uh, looks like a few more miles to go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, when I get closer, I'll bring you guys back in. Okay, that was a big alien. get you guys situated here there's been all kinds of them here's uh looks like a little gift shop <laughs> oh this is gonna be crazy in a quarter mile turn right onto west second street in a quarter mile little rocket ship See all the gift shops and different things they have here. Turn right onto West Second Street, then you will arrive at your destination. All right, let's let's see what we got here. Where is it? In 300 feet, turn right onto North Richardson Avenue. Avenue, okay. then turn right onto West 3rd Street. Okay. Do what the lady says. All right. And then right on 3rd. Turn right onto West 3rd Street, then turn right onto North Main Street. What am they? They're rerouting me back around. I must have missed it. Well, all right. Let's go see where I missed. I don't know where it's at. I know what it is. Just a minute. Okay, I figured it out. I just plugged in 
to the directions to take me to Roswell. I didn't plug in the hotel, so it took me downtown Roswell. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, it's the simple things. All right, so we are headed back the other way. It looks like uh, not very far, about a mile and a half back um, from where I came. So not a major deal, but there's a lot of alien things going on around here. Well, we're we'll go find our hotel. I got some video editing to do. Oh, that McDonald's looks like a big spaceship. That was interesting. Yeah, sorry about the windshield, but driving at night, you know, what you gonna do? There it is. There's my hotel. I had to stay here. Roswell Inn. Your destination is on the right. <laughs> oh yeah. I picked the right spot. <laughs> All right, let me get checked in. Well, guys, let's say goodbye to our earth-friendly hotel and see what else this town has to offer okay guys since this is a car show we should probably take a check out this thing oh yeah that's a beauty right there who knew that spacecraft rusted somebody's gonna have to get some body work done on this thing go my first spaceship <laughs> all right guys let's let's mosey on by it and <laughs> well that was interesting all right let's go see if we can find a gift shop we gotta find something here. We gotta bring something back with us. That was interesting. <laughs> well, when I came through here last night, there was, oh, yep, right there. Right there, there's a, gift shop right there well let's go check it out well they even got a mural here depicting the historical account of the first encounter with an alien species <laughs> and there's the ship I guess the government let it out so there it is well there you go Little green guys are everywhere. Got a spaceship. One that looks like a Easter Island kind of guy. <laughs> oh, that's where the real secret stuff's at right there. All right, let's uh, let's go inside and see what we got. I didn't know Yoda was one of the little green guys. Huh. Yep, that's a goodie. <laughs> All 
All right, so look at the lamp posts. They're all alien heads. <laughs> this place is something else. Here, let me show you this McDonald's. In the theme of a spaceship. Pretty cool. And they even have little gray guys to welcome you at the drive through and town is full of these murals. They're everywhere. <laughs> All right, guys, so I've been hunting aliens now for about an hour and I've not done too bad, uh, but I'm getting hungry, so I need to get something to eat. And so I'm gonna pull over here at, you know, the best place to go when you're hungry after you're done hunting aliens. How about the Denny's? That works for me. All right, guys. Well, I've had my fill of French toast and bacon and all those good things at Denny's. Uh, I've had my fill of Roswell. I've seen enough aliens, and I'm ready to get back on the road. I've still got a long ways to go. All right, let's get going. All right, Roswell. We had a good time. We came, we saw the aliens, and now it's time to get on down the road and see what else we got to see. Oops. Just coming through a little town here in the desert. Thought I'd give you a little peek. All the signs and old buildings. I just love this old Americana stuff. This is America right here. Look at those old trucks right there. Yeah, very cool. All right, well, there we go. I'll just bring you in for a little bit of the flavor here. I can't even tell you guys how many miles I have put on this truck through these fast open desert lands uh, just over and over the miles it all looks the same uh, but each town I go through tells a different story and that's pretty cool so, so what are you guys doing today <laughs> I know what I'm doing today tomorrow and the next day so, I'll see you guys on the next town. Guys, I just love these old 60s signs. This, I stopped at a place called Paris, Texas. Now, there's some pretty cool things out here in Texas, but this one here I think is probably the best, okay? So let's take a look at what we got. Let me, let me just back up. I'm gonna keep backing up until you can see the whole thing and you get the whole gist of it. There it is, there's the hat. So when in Paris, you should have an Eiffel Tower, right? Well, this is Texas's, Paris, Paris Texas's version. And of course it has a cowboy hat on the top. <laughs> All right, well guys, Aren't you glad I brought you along on this one? <laughs> I mean, let's walk up to it and see if we can take a good look at it. You know what it looks like? It looks like they made it out of, like, uh, the same stuff they use for, you know, oil drilling and things like that. But it's, it's even got light. It's lit up. Look at that. Oh, we're under the cowboy hat. <laughs> Well, that's a lot of welding. <laughs> there you go. All right. Okay, guys, well, I'm going to let it get dark, and maybe then we can get a, uh, you know, the full look at this thing when it's lit up. All right, everybody, and we also have this, which is right next to the uh, Eiffel Tower here in Paris, Texas. We've got the Red River Valley Veterans Memorial. And so you can see here, 
they have their own version of like the Vietnam Wall and things like that. Just a reminder of all those that went before us and paid the price. I won't show you all of it. I just wanted you to come in here and take a look. Here's what it's about right there. Hmm. Very humbling. Yep. Got some Vietnam. I just apologize, guys. Um, we're definitely starting to lose our our light, so it's, I'm not sure how this is actually going to come out. But I wanted you to at least get a chance at letting you guys see this. Yeah. These, uh, I'm going to assume, are people from this area, from these conflicts. You can see here. Vietnam. Korean War. World War II. Another World War II, World War I. And then, unfortunately, all of these are empty, and I guess with the anticipation of being filled. All right, I just wanted to bring you guys in, let you take a look. Yep. There you go, guys. I'm. Just showing you another view of the uh, awesomeness that is the uh, Paris, Texas Eiffel Tower. All right, guys, getting ready to get back on the road. Uh, but uh, before I do, I, I am having a, looks like a little bit of an issue with the truck. Um, tried starting it yesterday and it was really slow starting. So I'm hoping I can get it to start here. I just pulled off, I got some sleep. And uh, I'm going to see if it'll start. If it does, I'm going to hit back on the road and stop at a part store. You know, the first one I come across. So uh, let's go. Let's see if it'll do it. <laughs> she just wants to run. All right, guys. Well, we got it started. I'm going to go uh, hit the road and see if I can't find a battery. All right. All right. We got the new one right there. So... Let's see if we can get this one out. That's hot. All right. All right, guys, this will be easier if I can use two hands. I'll bring it back in when I got it in. Okay, let me get her strapped down. All right, there we go. All in, good to go. Let me get that one back in there and let's get back on the road. Okay, guys. All right, well, we're gonna get back on the road. Well, guys, I made it to the uh, Tuskegee, um, I guess, Kind of like a museum, uh, but it's the actual site where these guys uh, flew and trained. Uh, I'll show you guys here. I'll get it turned around, but uh, 
looks like uh, their office hours got me, not the sun. <laughs> so apparently they're closed. But uh, I can give you the tour from out here real quick and just show you. I, this is my first time being here as well. And uh, I, I tell you, it's a real honor. These guys, I mean, these guys are heroes. And uh, I really did want to get in here and, and, and see, see more about them. So I, I regret not getting here in time. Uh, as a fellow aviator in the military, I would have liked to have uh, got to know more about them at the site that they that they flew out of. So, uh, anyways, let me uh, let me turn you around, and I'm gonna just there's some different things out here you can look at, and uh, you can read, you can pause it, and then read them, and and we'll go from there, right? Okay, so we'll just. Start here. If you guys want, you can pause it, blow it up, and, and read it. But these are these are the accounts. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here. There's another one over here. I'll tell you what. I mean, just just the courage these guys had, not only to do the missions that they were asked to do, but you know, to go out and fight for a country that, uh, honestly, uh, you know, uh, really wasn't that happy with them. So, I mean, that just takes a whole nother level of special courage right there. Okay, so. Maybe right there. <laughs> We can get the story. Uh, there's a movie, there's documentaries on this, uh, on these guys there. So, Bath and Locker House. So this is where they stayed, huh? Huh, all right. There it is. Very cool. I really enjoy this, I just, Sure would have been nice to have gotten here a little earlier. All right, let's see what this building here is. It's called Dope, okay. Just building up and working on their airplanes. I suppose this is some sort of a training. Uh, device here for them. Let's see what it says over here. Huh. Okay. Warehouse and vehicle storage. <laughs> All right. Okay, and then there you got operations room and hangar one. So I'm going to assume that's that one. And here. I hope you guys are able to pause this and uh, get to see everything and then here will be uh, here will be the other hangar well guys uh, I sure would have liked to have gotten in there and seen some more but I'll tell you what it, it was an honor just to, to to be here and see it in person and uh, you know if you guys ever get a chance you're down here in Alabama right off uh, Interstate 85 like a mile so real easy to get to in and out you happen to be this way you really do need to come here and check it out this is a amazing piece of history right here and there you go this will be the last one the control tower there you go, and there it is right there uh, on the corner of the, the hangar.
Well guys, I think we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, this is my last stop on this trip. My next stop is uh, in Savannah, which uh, I will go right to the beach in the morning. It's getting late, I'll get in late, but uh, then I'll get up, well, I'll head over to the Atlantic and complete my coast to coast to coast trip. So I appreciate you guys coming along. It's been a lot of fun and I will see you in a minute. All right, here we go. All the way back from the West Coast. You can see we made it to the, uh, to the Atlantic. So I guess there's one thing left to do. I gotta get my feet in the water and complete this trip, all right? Let's do it.